this is Mikebot. So I've seen a lot of users on the SDL Flicks group that I'm part of on Facebook asking, is it worth it? What's on there? All that. Uh, I'll start by saying I am not sponsored by SDL Flicks. Um, I'm not affiliated. I'm not associated. They want nothing to do with me. All good. So this video has nothing to do with them. This is literally for you viewers, users to see what SDL Flicks has and if it's worth the subscription for you or not. Me personally, I got the commercial lifetime license a long time ago because they had a good deal going and at the time made sense. Have I sold enough prints to make up for the price of the commercial lifetime license? No, but from a monthly subscription perspective, it's paid for itself at this point. A lot of the prints I've done have been for personal, I guess, use. I have sold some things, specifically wine bottle holders. Um, when I take into consideration that plastic, time, electricity, no, they haven't paid for the subscription. But I'm 100% sure they will in time. I don't doubt that. So anyway, I'll start by saying STL Flicks drop stuff every Friday. Every Friday they have a major drop. So last Friday they had this Valentine's Day drop, for example. This was the major drop they had on the Friday. In between the Friday drops, they sometimes drop something called the extra drops, which look like this. So I think it was two weeks ago they had the first Gentleman's Bar Extra Drop, and this is the second one. I'll go through everything in a second, so don't worry. For the longest time, STL Flicks was really behind the seasons and holidays. I started really posting frequently on Facebook saying, Christmas is around the corner, we're in December, you still haven't posted Christmas stuff, come on, do something about it. And they finally started to get with the program. My uh, comment got lots of traction. Gabriel messaged me, um, users also complained, and they started to get ahead of the times, which is fantastic. So they are very in tune with the community, and they're on top of everything. When you have an issue with a print, they'll get back to you, whether you get a good answer or not. It's a 50-50 chance kind of thing. So for example, what I'm referring to here is one of the teddy, teddy bear drops which was, where is it? I think it was in this one here. Drop 99. So this teddy bear drop here, for example. Um, you're supposed to print a balloon. It says it in the description. I had extreme difficulty with this balloon. I know a lot of people didn't. Some people did. So I asked them, can you please make a TPU balloon so we don't have to put a balloon in there that leaks water or the air deflates? They said, no, we can't. It requires an entire redesign. So I offered, if I was to make a TPU heart and send it to you and it gets approved, can you upload it? And they agreed. So they do work with the community. They're great people. I don't know any of them personally. I speak to Gabriel once in a while on Facebook, but he's a busy guy. Doesn't really know me on a personal level or any level, to be honest, other than he'll post on my stuff sometimes on, and everyone else's things. Bruno as well will occasionally reply, but that's basically it. So. From that perspective, great customer service overall. And the prints themselves, for the first, I want to say, year or two, most of these prints weren't tested and there was a lot of issues with them. They are getting a lot better with testing the prints out now. So you are, you are getting much higher quality content. It was high quality before, but not every single one was tested, tried and true. So anyway, that's enough of the overview stuff. Let me show you guys some stuff here. So their website's gone through a lot of changes in recent times and it's getting better and better and if you notice it doesn't say beta anymore up there uh, the website does get hammered frequently and it's very slow to load it makes you log in frequently which is really annoying uh, so you can't stay logged in anymore but whenever they do their friday drops the site becomes molasses slow they're gonna need to do some back-end infrastructure upgrades but anyway, as I'm scrolling through here, you can see all the really cool stuff. So with a commercial license that I have, they give you stuff like this for commercial license use. This is like top sellers in the commercial license category. This is something I actually requested, and I'm sure many people did, and they implemented it. So they listen. So for our example purposes, let's click this Python. With a commercial license, you have the ability to do a catalog. So you just clicked up there. You can put your prices in. 
these are just I was testing it out just ignore those prices actually they are kind of realistic based on the Canadian dollar and everything so you can add your description and save it add it to a catalog I'll just do it for fun and then throw it into your catalog share it with people you also get the ability to do media packages with the commercial license and these are really high quality photos so with the photos they're done for you you can post them on social media or whatever and again that's commercial license only when you go to download the actual product you hit download and it sends it to you sorry it downloads it onto your browser with sometimes a 3mf file so you can color it the older stuff doesn't have 3mf but all the new stuff has 3mf included they even showcase your stuff here if you post it on facebook and it gains enough traction it's really hard to showcase everything there's so many prints on here i think there's over 10,000 products easily but look drop 99 you have valentine's day stuff so they're ahead of the game this time. They started posting this two weeks ago. So you got this beautiful um, love grenade, which is print in place, uh, minus the yellow parts. Articulated otter, statues. Uh, the top 20 downloads looks like recently are their Gentleman's Club Steampunk, this rose. Let me show you the Gentleman's Bar. This thing is cool. I'm actually doing a video on this very soon. So... Everything is printable minus the actual inner tubing and the faucet. And it allows you basically to pour drinks, assuming you drink alcohol. I personally don't anymore. I stopped drinking years ago. But it's still a cool print and that's why I'm printing it. And then the Gentleman's Bar 2 kind of adds on to that. So you can add a few things. That's a cork uh, holder, I believe. Some more Valentine's Day stuff. Oh, this stuff here is from the 3D print bunny, it looks like. So they do collaborations with various designers, which is something they started doing recently. I know the 3D print bunny sent them a few things. I, I showcased her on my channel recently. Check it out. Really good video. I have a part two for that video coming soon. So they have articulated things, chess things, cause play props customizable things with a little program built in to customize it with photos and text miniatures are doing more resin stuff now gadgets mechanical this is stuff i requested i'm sure many many others did as well to kind of just do more various um things i guess mechanical toy art home decor useful prints so they've done a good job with it there's so many things so many so many things i can't go through them all it just goes on and on so is it worth it i personally think it is i'm getting really high quality prints by the way i'll repeat i am not sponsored so you're getting really high quality prints that are tried and true which is nice because they weren't before and you have tons and tons of stuff to choose from if you're selling 3d prints this is almost a must it's like the netflix of 3d printing they even started an academy. I don't care for it, but if you're new to 3D printing, it might be good for you. And what else can I showcase here? They have a whole resin section now, filament section. I'll just go through, some, I'll scroll through some stuff for everyone's sake. So I'll start from the top, I'll go slow. So here's the Gentleman's Bar Extra Drop. Got the Valentine's Day Drop here, the second one. I printed this. Let me go back again. So I printed this. 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 I printed many of those. I'm printing this one. I'm printing this. I printed this. I wanted to do this one, but it's too much filament. Uh, from the purge with the bamboo printers. I printed this guy. I printed this. I printed this as well. I printed the skull. I printed the squirrel family. So I do print a lot of things from them. I've also printed the cat here. I printed the book stand. I printed this vase. I printed this heart. I printed this heart gift box as well. This one is a collaboration with Koza. Printed the gnome. This animal stuff is not for me, so I don't really print it too often. 
This is really cool, but I don't do this type of stuff, so it's not for me. This drop here wasn't for me either. It's like weird hooks. It's, I, I don't like it. I've also, they have a collaboration with Kawaii. I printed a few of the things on here as well. Uh, the goth cats, the paw, where did the paw go? There it is, I printed the paw. I definitely printed this pineapple. It's actually in store right now, I'm trying to sell it. I wanted to print the pizza hands because I love pizza. I love, 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 love pizza. But too many filament changes and I decided to not do it. Um, the Chinese lions, I think, yeah, I printed this guy here. I haven't printed those two. Uh, these lights, I printed a bunch of these egg lamps. I printed the cities. Uh, I'm not going to say which cities because they're specific to me. But these are also um, collaborations, these city frames. Uh, Christmas stuff, I printed a, a lot of stuff for Christmas. Too much, actually. None of it sold, sadly. This guy here, I printed three of them. Printed the melting snowman. So anyway, you get the point. There's a lot of stuff. So something that's really important, you have to actually read the description or you're going to run into issues. I've been freestyling it for the longest time, but as they drop more stuff, I'm running into more and more issues. So watching their YouTube video helps a little bit. I haven't watched any personally, but following the instructions make a big difference. I always print with supports. And then I've started to realize 99% of their prints don't need supports. So I could have saved myself a lot of filament. So anyway, that's it for this showcase. If you guys want to see another showcase, another video on this, let me know in the description. If you like this video, hit the like button. Questions or comments, leave them below. I'll answer. I'll remind you, I am not sponsored. So if I'm doing this, I'm doing this for you guys, my audience. So please subscribe and show me that you like these videos. That's it for now. Thank you all for watching. My bot out.